everyone, I'm Cindy. Today we are going to be installing a camera system in the van. This is the camera system that I bought. It's a Leaky Lou. You can see it better here probably. And it comes with the two cameras and the monitor and a couple different types of mounts. It came with a mount like this and then a mount like this. The monitor is 1080p resolution and you can put an SD card in the back because it does record and it also has night vision. It's a 7 inch monitor and we're going to mount it to this one but Kevin had to modify this and the way that it came, see this metal piece here? It actually ran this way parallel with this just ran along the same direction because it's designed to tilt up and down and we need it to tilt left to right so he was able to get this turned around to where it's facing this direction now and we're going to be mounting it right over here it's going to get mounted right up in here and then the camera like I said can turn this way and we really don't need it to tilt up and down. If we find that we want to angle a little bit, we can always wedge it a little like that in the back, but I don't think we're going to need to. And then it's going to come through on this side. Now, if we were to start over, we would have wired, had those wires that are on the bulkhead side come stick out over here instead, but we already did it and we're just going to work with what we have. But we're going to have wires that come through here and they're going to run down here and the camera is actually going to mount in this area right here. So to start we are going to put another hole in the wall so we'll, we'll do that and then show you from there. So before we get started we are going to set up an awning. We just got it and I'm looking forward to showing you guys. The awning we got is completely portable. It's a moonshade. And this is our first time taking it out. So you guys get to see us set it up for the first time. Comes in a really nice case. Yeah, the stitching looks really good on this. That's a good sign. They, that means the stitching might be really good on this, the actual awning. This has suction cups in here, I think, I feel that. Let's make sure. Let's see, we got, yeah, two suction cups. I think those are the guy lines. Some stakes. Oh, <laughs> four suction cups. More guy lines. It's another string. <laughs> and pull cord, pull cord instructions. That must be what this is. Okay. So I'm going to put all this back in here for now. This is the part I'm anxious to get to. Oh yeah, these are nice. Looks like there's all kinds of double stitching on here. Very strong looking. Cool. Now, it, when we ordered this, it came with these magnets, but they, I don't think they come with the magnets anymore. I think they started selling those separately. We ordered this back in like August, and we just got it the end of October because it was on back order. These are the magnets here. I'm scared of these magnets. I've hurt myself with magnets before, so. <laughs> but yeah, 
some very big magnets. So you have your choice between using the suction cups or using the magnets. If you get the magnets. Okay, so now we just gotta get the instructions out and make sure we can set this up. It's supposed to be really easy to set up. We've watched a lot of videos where people seem like they just pop it up in no time. We'll find out if it is that easy for us. Let's go down to the, the next one and see what that's. Maybe down all the way even. That'll give us more shade in there. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is nice. Wow. That's that good. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, see that went up really nice and easy. I mean, now that we've done it one time, the rest should be a breeze. We'll see if the suction cups hold. Hopefully they will. We don't have any wind today. I mean, you can see it's dead still out here. So we'll have to make sure to put it up another time and see how it does when it's really windy. It came with this extra pole, and this is, the sun's in my eyes, so. This is so that if this were attached to something more narrow than the width of this awning, you could use this pole to help hold that one corner up. And also, it came with the stakes and four guy lines, two guy lines for each of these corners. So what we would do, is attach one end here, take it to the ground and st stake it, and one end here and take it to the ground and stake it on each corner if we needed to. The, which I think most of the time we would probably want to, but today it's so still we don't need to and we want to get to work. <laughs> So we had to drill a hole in here, right here, and that's mainly for aesthetic reasons because the hole that we want to put it over is where the wires are going to come through and we would have had to put the hole out here or, or up above it and we want to try to hide as many of the wires as we can. So we drilled a hole in there and we're going to have it coming through right behind the monitor where it'll be more inconspicuous that way. These wires right here 
these are the wires that actually give power to the system. And the ones that will come through the hole that we just did are the ones that connect to the cameras. So we have the monitor mounted. Now we're just trying to figure out how to get it reversed. Because right now it's reversing everything it's seen. And then we are going to mount the camera. The camera is going to sit right over in here. So we made this block and painted it to match the bulkhead wall. And that is what we're gonna mount the camera to. Here's the bracket that it mounts to. Okay, we have the camera mounted. So next what we have to do is the camera for this side of the vehicle. It's gonna look straight down this driver's side. Uh, we still gotta figure out how we're gonna wire that because it's an afterthought. We wish we had done it when we did the wiring in the van, but we didn't. So that's going to be a little tricky, but we're going to figure it out tomorrow. So we decided not to mount the second camera. We went out and we were looking at all the areas that we thought we could mount it. And there's really not a good place for being able to see down that side of the van at the angle that we want. And since it was an afterthought and not something we had planned on doing in the first place, we're just going to not do that. Uh, this one was the one we wanted to get done. And the main reason for this one is just to act as kind of a second window out the front of the van when I have this bulkhead door closed. So that way if I hear something out front and I want to peek, I don't have to peek. I can just look up there. It'll be, on, it'll be on the camera. But what we did do, since we had the extra camera, was we ran a connection at the back. We basically wired from the distribution panel to the back of the van. And there's a switch, so we can just turn it off. And if we want, we can plug that extra camera in and set it out anywhere we want around the van. I don't see myself needing to do that very often because uh, eventually what we really want is to get a wireless Wi-Fi system that will have several cameras on, on the outside of the van and even a camera on the inside so we can see what's going on inside and out of the van whether we're in the van or away from the van. I can, maybe if I'm going backpacking, I can check on the van while I'm away. So, <laughs> anyway, so, so the switches are right down here. This is the one that's on right now. It's to the front camera. And if I want to switch it off, I can. Easy as that. This one's to the back, which, like I said, isn't hooked up right now. But now it has power going to that back connection. So it's just a simple system that will allow me to see out front when this bulkhead door is closed. Uh, if any of you guys have wireless Wi-Fi camera systems that you recommend, I look into. I'd really appreciate the suggestion. Just leave it in the comments because um, that's what I'm, I'm looking for next is to be able to get a system like that and install it. 
Uh, if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.